Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to the Crooked Man. So in the last episode, uh, we have finished up in uh, the law school. Uh, we defeated the Crooked Man once again, but as you guys know, when it comes to the Crooked Man, he'll always uh, come back. Uh, the person we're looking for didn't seem to be there, so uh, D did find on our uh, address. He thought it was uh, ours and well, we got a new place to check out, so we're off to wherever this place was. But it looks like we're getting a little cutscene inside the car first. Hmm. Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. Oh, you were sleeping? It was Shirley. She called me again. What could she want this late? Maybe she misses you. Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. Yeah, I got a place to check out. I got a person to find. A hospital, huh? Must be abandoned. Or else it's got a terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Yeah, why is all the places we're being sent to abandoned? And oh, also the worst settings for really any horror story. Like, uh, the only thing worse than an abandoned hotel is, uh, is, you know, uh, abandoned school. And if there's anything more creepy than a uh, abandoned school, it's an abandoned hospital. We're just uh, upping the creepy factor, like with each stop. Yeah, this former tenant though, he really seems to love these abandoned places. Should I go in? Well, we came this far. We got, we gotta. Do we even have to ask? Come on. Okay, it's alright, spooky. Alrighty. Yeah, abandoned, empty, uh, nothing inside. Abandoned, empty, uh, hospitals? Kinda on a creepy factor. There's gotta be something in there if it won't open. Where there's anything inside? It's a simple lock, so maybe I could get it open without the key. Do I have anything that could open it then? No, I don't even have my hammer anymore. Shells with materials and such. Empty trash. Okay. Some sort of equipment. A box. Copy machine. A key, bo a key box locked with a passcode. I have no idea what the passcode could be. All buttons pushed unlocked. Do I have to push? Oh, I see. Uh, I see. Oh no, it's one of these. Oh no, I've never been good at these. Oh god. Oh, this is already the worst. Hey, I did it! Wow! Cafeteria key and an elevator trunk key. Okay, this is a good start. Very, very good start. Very promising. Alright. Wheelchair, wheelchair. Not operational, the elevator seems to be stopped on the 4th floor. Okay, well that's quite some ways up, alright. Let's check out this door here. The door to the outpatient clinic, it has a number lock. Is this lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. Yeah, and who knows how long it has been abandoned. Looking at the shape of the building, I say a couple hundred years. It's been abandoned longer than the, uh, than the school, I'll say that much. Keyhole is painted over. So we're not going to be going in there. Unlock the cafeteria coming in. This is creepy. Look at the condition of these tables. Ew. Empty cans. Hello? The can is rolling on the ground. Something fell out. A small wire. Can I use that wire for the locker? I heard a sound when I came out. That was creepy. None of these are painted over. There is no going in. There's blood in front of that door. Hello? Why is there blood in front of this door? Is anyone in here? That bed looks clean compared to that one, surprisingly. Oh, hello. There's dark red writing on a bed. Likely blood. Well, yeah. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. 
It is happier for them. I have saved them. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Them? Who is them? Right, I'm leaving. I want to see if that wire will work on that locker. I doubt it will. But it's the only thing I got to go with right now. Yep! It worked. A note about a number lock. Four four eight nine. Okay, well that's uh, it. That's simple. No, nothing uh, cryptic. It's just uh, flat out. Here's the number. So four four eight nine. I like that though. That it wasn't cryptic. It was just like uh, he here's the number. Okay, that's battery operated though. So until I get some power back, I don't think we're gonna be doing much here. Third floor. Keyhole is painted over. That won't open. Okay. Nope. Hello? Do you have to make creepy sounds every time I open a door? Magazine rack. The latest ones are 10 years old. Okay, so it's been abandoned for at least 10 years then. Beverage dispenser. Why is it behind like a bar counter? You have to talk to the barkeep if you want anything from a vending machine. Cat? Oh, oh no. Dead animals. I was talking about the cat. Were these its kittens? Were they cut out of its stomach? Who could have that? That is creepy. Oh. Was it the crooked man? What, is he here? Why is there always one bed that's queen? The poor thing, I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. Oh no, we're gonna reach inside. Oh, oh. We're reaching inside of a dead animal. Oh god, no. Alright, well, I guess we'll take it. Oh, I'm sorry. A bloody key. Aw, oh, did you eat a key, you poor thing? Keyhole is painted over. Keyhole is painted over. Keyholes are painted over. They really don't want me going anywhere in here. Okay. There's a spot here. Some kind of drive through it. It might be vomit. Alright, we'll walk around it then. Oh, hello? A solitary chair. I saw someone there. A notebook scrap. I can't read that. Oh, there we go. That's better. I sat in a chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt. He was here. But is he still here now? I don't think so. I don't think you'll ever find him. Sorry. But that's what I'm thinking. Locked and the boy key won't open it. Alright. Wow. There's very little I can do. I mean I can go in here. Over a trunk, it's locked. I have the key. Open. And what is in here? An AED. Not sure what to do with that, but great. I think I do something on the first floor of it. I only need a small man. Sure, I'm head. Here is my pen. Don't here is my pen. Yeah, no, yes. Well, that's the creepiest thing I ever heard. Oh, there you are. The only room I could go in, so I figured you were here. 
What are you doing here? Eh. Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Eh. He he's a kid, uh, David. Yeah, kids aren't supposed to talk to strangers, you know. So you can't blame him for not responding. Uh, hmm. Are you mute, perhaps? No, he don't talk to strangers. Mama said not to talk to strangers. There you go, see? Smart kid. Ah. Huh. Well then, I'll introduce myself. I'm David, I'm 26 years old, I live kind of far from here. My hobby is... Watching baseball, I guess? Oh, I love baseball too! Mama gave me a glove, so I play every Saturday. Wow, I'm jealous. Hey, so uh, what's your name, little guy? Fluffy! Please tell me that's a nickname. <laughs> There's no way that can be your legitimate name. Fluffy? That's your name? Yeah! Mama says my hair is fluffy like a towel, so... Fluffy! That's like a name for a cat though, not a, not a child. Because here's the thing, it may be cute and adorable now, but that kid's going to grow up someday and then... An adult named Fluffy is not really as adorable. <laughs> I see, uh... Where's your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were going back home, and I was walking right by Mama. Then she went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here to sing. But Mama hasn't come back. Does your mom know to look in here for you, though? So you got lost then. Is your house close to here? Um, my house is close to school, but you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Right. You're really something to have a way to here all alone. Great, a kid lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey Fluffy, it's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? I don't think he likes that idea. Okay, let's go. No! What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark, I'm a big boy! You're the scaredy cat, aren't ya? No, I'm worried about you. Oh, well, there he goes. Fluffy! That kid's gonna be problematic, isn't he? Better give him chase, I guess. Okay, 26-year-old chasing around a child. That's not creepy at all, is it? Then again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the police anyways. I'll take him someplace safe if I see him again. Okay. That's fair. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. Quite a name there. That book is new, I was in here before. There's only a little battery left. About half charge, huh? Oh! I had to take out the battery? What do I do with the battery? Why is the boy a key selectable? It doesn't do anything. So what do I do with the battery then? Do I put it back in the elevator? Oh! I put it here, of course. I was about to say I don't know, but then I remembered. Yeah, I have that note that says 4489, so... I'm guessing it has to be for here. I'm a genius. I figured it out. Hello. I'm gonna save here. And we're gonna look around. Before I... You know, go up the stairs or anything. What's this guy say? A plea from the hospital to all mothers carrying babies. Please stop abandoning children in front of the hospital. Six precious lives have been lost this month alone. So this hospital has a habit of uh, children being abandoned in front of it. Is Fluffy one of them? Like, Fluffy uh, was waiting for uh, his mom somewhere who supposedly forgot something and never came back, which is why he came here. I think Fluffy may have been abandoned. 
That kind of sucks, gotta be honest. Still pretty flowers. This room actually looks uh, surprisingly good for a place that's been abandoned. You know, compared to everywhere else in, in this place. Only a few books here. The way of a modern family. Empty trash can. Oh, hello. Wooden box. There are six indentions on top. A diary poem written by the director. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather interesting thing. To open it, you have to arrange letter pieces to form a word. Of course, I made the keyword my favorite word. That irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say. In fact, I should show the box to my daughter. What is this uh, irreplaceable thing that makes him happy just to say? Unbelievable, when I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. But what's inside isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a big deal. She actually gave me hints on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have time. Uh, can I look at that scrap uh, note for hints? Flowers are nice, wash your hands, where do you have lunch? Give me a call, the nurses know, get close to the sky. I know about the flowers, there's flowers here. Something in there. A piece, I got the Y piece. Is the word happy? Like there's five letters, right? Or six letters. Family. A locked safe. Bookshelves are empty. Doors are empty. So wash your hands. Probably a bathroom of sorts, right? I can't go into the women's washroom though. Or the boys' room. The bathrooms are locked. There's gotta be another place to wash your hands then. Cabinet is locked. Of course it is. Something on the desk. Key to the counseling room. Well, this is not the counseling room then. Alright, one of these, uh, this room I could go in. Is this the counseling room? No, that's the men's room. Is this the counseling room? No, that's the transport. Okay. Locked and won't open. Okay. Go up here to the second floor, I guess. Door is busted, not broken this time. Fluffy! Hey, buddy! There you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? How did you even get in here, by the way? This door, the, like, the room, like, this whole area was locked. I can't handle the dark fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like some baby. Wow, you sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. I'm kind of scared of uh, walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here I could depend on. Just my luck, huh? I see what you're doing. Check this guy so he won't run off anymore. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? Wow, what a relief. Thanks. I feel so much safer with you here, Fluffy. <laughs> I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, Sheriff's Office it is. Yeah, I figured that's what you were going to do. You just don't want him running off because uh, it's a, you know, a place where he could get uh, hurt, you know. No matter how brave he thinks he is. It's a thingy the doctor uses. I want one. Can I have it? It's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. Yeah. Medical equipment. What's this, Steph? I don't really know either. We're just going to leave it. All right, paint it over. That room's busted. Nope. Hello? Oh, wow. Medical equipment. Electrocardiogram monitor. Medical equipment again. Nothing in the cabinets. Nothing in the cabinets. Empty trash. 
Precision medical tools. I bet nothing odd at all about it. Okay. There are scalpels and forceps on the cart. Okay, so there's a. This is the operating room, I would assume. And so is this, I'm guessing. So it'll make sense. Things posted on a board, but they're too messy to read. Well, goddamn it. One of the clues was uh, the nurse's no, so maybe it's in one of these rooms. Uh, one of the letters. Alright, I guess there's nothing in here. Alright, well, down here is a waste of time. Little chair, let's go back upstairs now. This hospital is huge. Oh, here's a... I'm really thirsty, can I have a drink? I was gonna say, here's a bathroom. N no way, the water's no good here. Well, it said wash your hands for one of the uh, letters, so shouldn't one be in here somewhere? Stinky. Yeah, it reeks. Oh, it's a urinal. What do you expect? No, not right now. Wait, what was all that said? Putrid yellow and smells foul. Do you want to go, Mr. David? Nah, not right now. Okay, so for each one, they say something different. Oh, hi, Mr. Bug. Yeah, there really are bugs. This place is gross. It's, it's abandoned. I don't, I don't know what else you would expect. Okay, maybe it's not in this bathroom then. That was the first bathroom I could go in, though. Hello? Oop, I see something. Small shelves. There's something here. Or there, rather. Or something. Something, something, you know. Quick, beep, beep. Don't touch that thing, please. Yeah. Mysterious device. Does it work? There's no power. And even if it does, we shouldn't uh, play around with it. A model of an embryo. A baby. <laughs> it looks like a monkey. Well, babies are kind of like that. A sparse number of books. I only see two. And I can't even look at them. Okay. We came here for a small key. What it opens, I don't know. Hello. X-rays on a whiteboard. Examination table. Medical equipment. A lot of medical equipment. Device that uses ultrasonic waves. And a trash can. And a small container. Alright. These all probably have nothing in them, but gotta gotta look, you know, so we'll take the time. We will look. Yep, nothing. Alright. Public phone. There's something in the change slot. Ah, oh, we got an R piece. So we got F and Y, it's six uh, pieces, so I still think the word is family. Alright, so we got flowers are nice and give me a call. Where do you ha where do you have lunch? That's the cafeteria. The nurses know he's still working on that. Wash your hands, uh, still working on that. And get close to the sky. That's probably up on the ceiling. Or the top floor, rather. The men's bathroom, the lock is busted. There's a paper on the floor. Notebook scrap. Let's see what he's got to say now. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness. But for me, it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self. Ouch. Back when I was pure. When I still thought everyone loved me. Ow. I don't know how to respond to that. I really don't know what to say. Yikes. Sorry you feel that way, my dude. Holy rip. And looks like there's gonna be a whole lot of nothing here. Once again, like, we went through all of these rooms and there's literally nothing in any of them. 
think you're only here because, well, it's a hospital, so they have to be, right? That's all there was up here? Well, we know one of the pieces, uh, it said where, where do you eat, so... Oh, hello. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. I was about to say, a crooked man where? He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked steel. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots. And I like that song. I see. W what is it, mister? I met a real crooked man. I actually learned it as a kid too, but... I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just... Felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life and... All he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? What if you are the crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister. But sorry for singing a sad song. Uh, no, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Yeah, mama likes to sing too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing too, Mr. David? Uh, no, I, I, I'm no good. I, I feel you there, David. You're better off not hearing me try. <laughs> same, same. Why did I even come down here? There's nothing here. I thought it was uh, the right place to go because he started singing. So where do you eat was one of the clues. I I think I saw a cafeteria here, right? So it's probably in here somewhere. Else. Oh, yeah, here it is. We got the L piece. I still think that we're this family. We got half of them. So we got flowers are nice. We got that down. We have, uh, where do you have lunch? Lunch, yeah, we just did that. And... Give me a call. We still have to find wash your hands. The nurses know and get close to the sky. But we're going to be tackling that in the next episode. This is where we're going to stop for today. Thank you everybody for joining me and coming back to the Crooked Man. Hope you guys are enjoying this. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.